Hey, my name is Al. Today I have a video of me trying out Pose Brush inside a blender for the very first time, and it's amazing. So stick around. If you love all things 3D, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we are in Blender and we are gonna check out the Pose Brush. So I'm gonna bring in this Venus flytrap that I sculpted in ZBrush Core Mini, and bring in the FBX. And this one's already posed, so sculpted, posed, I decimated. So the topology is really terrible, but I've seen some really powerful things with the pose brush. So this is literally me just hopping in here for the first time and clicking the pose brush and seeing what happens. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try the tongue. It's like uh, those two white dots to me seem to be like bones or it's like doing this auto masking thing. Let's increase that brush size a little bit. Okay, that's pretty cool. But where is it picking these two white points. How does it just know where to pick? That's interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what I'm seeing happening here is like in Blender or ZBrush, I could, whoa, that is fun. Okay, so with a big brush size, I can just move the head around. I know this is, I don't, this is awesome because in ZBrush or Blender before this, I assume, I would have to mask off something, smooth the mask, that way it's not so sharp, and then get my transpose line out, do these kind of tedious rotations, but this is like eliminating all of that. This is really cool. I love how it's not like deforming too bad back around uh, at that neck. Obviously if you push it too far it does, this is awesome. Okay, let's get a smaller brush size, play with these legs a little bit. See, what I don't understand is how the magic behind this, like, I mean, it's not perfect, right? I'm hovering my mouse over it, but it's grabbing this leg and it puts those, I'm only assuming joints in my mesh that I'm able to bend and rotate. So it looks like it's based on the draw size. That is very cool. So let's play with some of these settings. Auto smooth. I don't see too much of a difference with auto smooth on or off. Not sure what that does. That is really fun to be able to just pose the head. Oh, I love it. And like I said, this has already been posed, so this isn't really ideal, but sure is fun. Okay, what does cloth simulation do? Oh, we're lagging. We're oh, baby. Okay. Don't turn on cloth simulation. <laughs> as cool as that was, I don't think I'll do that again. Squash and stretch. Ooh. I don't know what that would be used for, but that's really cool. Interesting. Let's try the tongue. Squashing and stretching. So instead of rotating and twisting, squashing and stretching. Interesting. So I guess you could like take uh, the, your character's face and squash it down or change the proportions. I don't really know why you would do that in a pose. Somebody please tell me in the comments, but I'm really digging the, the rotation. That one's cool. Because I could do what I'm doing here. I could do with like a, that whatever it's called, the elastic brush or move elastic. I guess the nice thing about this is it's going to keep uh, the volume of the mesh, so that makes sense. Answered my own question. So the scale, this would not be keeping the same volume, but I think squash and stretch is keeping the same volume. Whoa. Let's do smooth iterations, take that down to zero. Yeah, I, I guessed that would have happened. So that nice transition is due to the smooth iterations, like smoothing out my mask. Oh, we are lagging. So as soon as I change the pose IK segments to two, what? Oh, that is so cool though. Oh my goodness. So just like in a rig, we've got two joints now and we've got basically IK connecting these guys and I can move the head around without bones. All right. so. I decimated my mesh and ZBrush to lower the polygon count and brought it back in. Now this is much more smooth using these two IK segments. This is insane. I need this in my life. I have not gotten excited about Blender sculpting 
ever until now. This is super powerful. I cannot do this in ZBrush. Like to do the things that I'm doing right now very quickly, you know, it'd be masking, like I said, smoothing my mask, using my transpose line. This just would not happen. Uh, I wish I had more control. I wish I could say, hey, the IK start here and the end of the IK start here and kind of like follow along this curve. Uh, so I just have to kind of fiddle around with it, the draw size and where I place it. So hopefully maybe in the future, or maybe you can, I don't know. Maybe I can pick where that first dot is and where that second dot is and the third dot. That would be super helpful. Just like quick little placements, but I don't want to rig. Trust me, I do not want, so as quick as this is, this is really, really awesome. What the heck? Oh, dude, it's just bending right at the knee? I don't even, oh man, this is great. So I'm like going through my head different ways how I could use this in my workflow. I wish I would have made this a uh, little guy in more of a default pose. So bend the knees a little bit. I think my assumption is since I have these bent knees, it's just following the geometry a little bit and it just says, hey, this is a joint. So I couldn't make the legs straight. I don't think it would work well, just like in rigging. But I wish I would have made, well, maybe I'll redo this, make his neck just straight. That way I can just pose him and see if I can get the same or a similar pose. And then I could, once it's posed, take it back. Oh, I love that. So keep anchor point. Keeps, uh, I'm assuming that dot on the right. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, so it holds that anchor point. But if I turn that off, oh, that is cool. I can just like push it further than it should go. Oh, wow. What the heck? I could see myself getting a base mesh in ZBrush. Bringing it into Blender, because I still hate sculpting in Blender. But then posing, and then taking it back to ZBrush, fixing all the issues and the errors, but this is insane. Why is this good? So why is this impressive to me? It's impressive to me because it's one click. I click the pose brush, I change the size of my brush, and then I just left click and drag, and it's going to rotate. If I want to add those uh, IK segments, I can. Get a little more interesting results but the speed at which i'd be able to pose is so much faster than anything that i'm aware of that i could do inside a zbrush so kudos to you blender this pose brush is absolutely nuts hey thank you for sticking around for the video if you haven't yet please subscribe and if there are other blender features inside of the sculpting that you'd like me to test out or just to try give you my thoughts let me know in the comments below